Hi guys, this is Jed, and thank you so much for joining me tonight. I've had uh, several weeks to test out my new Inkling by Wacom, and right now I'm just here to kick things off by showing you the components and uh, basically how to set it up so that you can get started using the Inkling. And uh, basically, this is what it looks like from the outside. So it's basically the size of a average pencil case. And it's pretty light and uh, easy on the hands. As I mentioned in my earlier photo album, it's actually much lighter than the regular uh, Blackberry. So it's actually much lighter. And uh, just to uh, flip it open, we're going to show the uh, contents. This here is the receiver. Sorry. Uh, this here is the receiver. This is basically what captures your strokes and converts it into line art. This here are your ink cartridges. This is what, uh, basically, these are your ink refills. Just in case the first one ever runs out in the course of using it. This would be your USB cable uh, for transferring your sketches into the computer and use for various software. And uh, this right here, sorry, uh, this right here is the uh, pen itself. If you will notice, it's right inside the uh, hinge, so that's uh, really well designed right there. And what you do is you press this and then it just uh, pops out like that. So uh, we just slide it out, and uh, there you have it. This is your uh, inkling pen. And uh, you will notice, as I mentioned in my photo album, you will notice the ring and the dot in the middle that lights up when you are ready to start using the inkling. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is show you how the receiver works. I'm just going to put this aside here and uh, slide out the receiver. Uh, just uh, push it there comes out pretty easily and I'm just going to set down the set. This is what your receiver looks like. So there it's uh, pretty uh, portable. This right here is where the uh, clip opens so that you will place whichever suitable sheet of paper that you would use to start sketching. And uh, what you have here right now is I'm just going to use a regular sketching pad and what I'm going to do is basically just uh, clip the receiver like so. There. And uh, I'll just move that a bit towards the center so that I can really maximize the drawing area that the uh, receiver will allow. So just to give what that really looks like there. So now we are uh, going to start sketching. So you will notice the uh, icons over here. Uh, there's the uh, power icon. And this one here is uh, actually the new layer icon that you would use uh, mostly for Photoshop work. Um, the uh, Inkling has boasted that you are able to maximize the feature using layers by uh, adding new layers for uh, Photoshop work. So we're just going to turn this on right now. There you go. and you get, uh, lights up with that red silent eye over there and then it turns green just to indicate that it's ready to start scanning and uh, let me just uh, go ahead and lower the uh, camera right here so we take the pen right uh, let me just try to angle this as uh, much as possible considering that I'm using only the uh, built-in camera on my uh, MacBook so to get it started Basically, what I would want to do is activate the pen. The pen itself doesn't have an on-off switch, no buttons like that. It's actually pressure activated. It actually indicates in the instruction manual that to start drawing that you will want to um, create pressure so that the pen is uh, activated. So it, uh, at first, it actually took me several tries to activate the pen on my own. So right below the uh, receiver, I'm just going to draw a few lines just to indicate the uh, pressure. There we go. And it's uh, lit up. So it just uh, took me a few strokes just to get it started. So what you will notice is the uh, I deliberately here, just to give you a closer look, I deliberately made the activating strokes uh, just 
uh, less than an inch below the receiver here because the receiver itself uh, doesn't record your strokes immediately here. You actually need a wide area before it starts reading and uh, translating your strokes. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, well, um, basically I'll just uh, start drawing. And uh, you will notice that with each stroke up here, you will notice that it's actually uh, lighting up. So uh, basically just uh, something uh, easy and basic. There you go. And uh, obviously that's Batman. And uh, just to give you a brief uh, demonstration. And what I, of course what I want to do right now is uh, fill in the uh, cowl right here. If you will notice, these strokes are just very basic. And if you'll notice, I just made a light stroke right there to connect the uh, chin and the uh, uh, receiver didn't light up, which means that you have to draw really firmly on the uh, surface so that it activates. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is add a bit of uh, shading here. So there, you're uh, basically seeing the receiver light up each time that it successfully captures one of the uh, pen strokes. And uh, just to advise you, the uh, inkling feels like your average ballpoint pen. It's actually uh, got that um, a bit of a rigid feel that you would have with any other pen like a uh, Bic or a Panda. So uh, I was just going to fill in shades here. Uh, that noise, uh, that's actually just a, it's actually just a plane flying overhead. Right now I'm staying at my uh, family's home where we live near the uh, airport. So there's occasionally that roaring sound coming out. So there I gave Batman basically a bit of a, a hungover look. You, I've given him some a bit of a eye bags there, a bit of a stubble. And just to make the drawing pop out, I'll just put in some strokes over here. Give it a bit of crosshatch because I want it to have texture. And uh, while I'm drawing this, please note the uh, light on the receiver each time it shows up. And, uh, well, just for kicks, I'm just going to uh, label this right here. Yeah, this isn't actually the most profound sketch. It's actually pretty, you know, juvenile. But everyone loves Batman. I love Batman. If you don't love Batman, I don't know what is wrong with you. <laughs> there. And for no reason whatsoever, I'm making it look like he's screaming, even though that He's not screaming. Maybe that's just some internal monologue because, you know, Batman is tortured and, well, as far as Christian Bale shows him, always growling. So for all intents and purposes, you know, maybe his internal monologue is just as grouchy and shouty as he is in the movie. So there. Um, right now, I'm just going to have to uh, settle with that just to give you a brief demonstration. And then we are going to move on with the uh, software demonstration. All right, so let me just uh, turn off the uh, receiver. And you will notice the pen stays on. This is because it's not dependent on the receiver. It's not just, oh, but there you go. Uh, the light is fading. And basically, that's it. Um, the uh, pen is no longer uh, activated, neither is the receiver which means that any pen stroke that you will have will no longer be recorded. Oh, and uh, before I forget, <laughs> I just want to turn that on again. And uh, once again, uh, basically I just want to show you the boundaries of the receiver. Uh, you will notice it's actually about that wide. 
there we go. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a border. So what I'm doing right now again is just activating it with the uh, pressure. Actually it takes uh, several strokes. So it's not really that instantaneous, which is uh, kind of tough to get a handle on. So uh, just to show you the scope of which area the receiver can cover, I'm just going to start here at the very uh, edge of the uh, sketch pad where the uh, bind binder is holding it. And I'm just going to draw a line right there. And uh, if you'll notice, the uh, light was actually on during that time. And uh, just to see how much vertical clearance you'll be able to get with this drawing, um, what I'll do is activate a new layer so that uh, I will not end up drawing over Batman in the recorded line art here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and mar my own work right here. Of course, I can do that. E there we go. I just bisected Batman right in the middle of the face. Uh, but, of course, this will appear in a different file and in a different layer than the uh, previous sketch, which was recorded as a different session. Therefore, it comes out in a different file. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look next at the uh, software and uh, how it turns out.